what's up everybody it's your girl something flavor and in today's video i'm gonna show you guys how to take an old boring band t-shirt and turn it into a really cute o-ring crop top with exposed threads so if you'd like to learn just keep on watching something flavor okay so getting right into the video as a template for my new crop top, I just took one that I already had and already liked the fit of. We don't have the time or the patience to make a whole new pattern from scratch. We're trying to go out tonight, not tomorrow. Hoy si, mañana no. So just use a crop top that you already have as the pattern. And after trying to make the straightest possible line you can, just cut everything out. And once that body's cut out, now it's time to work on the sleeves. You know that TikTok audio where it's like, nobody's gonna know, how would they know? If you cut new sleeves, nobody's gonna know that this was previously a t-shirt. And the top looks so much better with new sleeves, so don't skip this step, just take the time to do it. And it's really easy, just trace the armholes and use the crop top to trace new sleeves and cut them out and boom, you got brand new sleeves and nobody's gonna know that it was a t-shirt. Okay, so now we're down to the last bits of cutting. Grab a ruler and in the middle of the shirt, draw as straight as a line as you possibly can and cut that out. This is where we're going to be adding the o-rings in later. And for the new neckline, draw two lines from the middle up to the shoulders to make a v-neck. Cut the both sides out and then cut the back out. Now we're at the point where we could start assembling things, so give yourself a round of applause. And with the shirt opened up on the inside, we're going to attach the new sleeves right sides facing with the body. Line the sleeves up with the armholes and do the same for the other side. And once they're all pinned up, we're going to sew them with zigzag stitches. Now that we got our cute little new sleeves, we're just going to open the shirt up on the wrong side, line up the two side seams, and sew down with zigzag stitches, making sure to close up the underneath the armhole. And this is what our shirt is looking like. Now it's time to hem the two sleeves and the bottom of the shirt, but I didn't want to do just a normal boring hem. I wanted to add a little flavor, a little sasson. So I set my sewing machine to an overlock stitch and just folding the edges of the fabric over just a little bit, I sewed on the right side of the fabric with a bright orange thread. You could see it showing up a little bit in the background. Once everything is hemmed, we can start working on adding in our O-rings. But before we can just add them, we do have to make the little straps that attach the O-ring to the top. So taking the leftover bottom of the t-shirt, just cut it into a long straight piece of fabric. And fold the fabric in half with the right sides facing together and sew all the way down with a zigzag stitch so that we're creating a big long tube. Then take your loop turner or a safety pin if you don't have one of these and turn the big tube inside out so that now the right side is all facing outwards. Then I took my ruler and started cutting the tube into four inch straps but I quickly realized that this was way too long and I shortened them to two inches. These inches, they're going to determine how much skin is going to be showing down the center of the shirt. So the longer the straps, the more skin is gonna show. And keep in mind that each O-ring requires two straps. So if you have five O-rings, then you're gonna need 10 straps to cut out. 
And finally, the part we've all been waiting for. To attach the O-rings, take a strap and put it through the O-ring, folding it in half. And then pin the strap to the inside of the fabric right on the edge. And then take your other strap and do the exact same thing to the other side. I'll re-explain exactly how to do it in just one second. So take your strap, put it inside the o-ring and fold it in half, and then put it underneath that edge of the fabric and pin it down. And the pinning, it was a little hard just because you do have to go through three layers of fabric. So just be careful while you're doing it and take your time. Once everything is pinned, we're going to sew on the right sides of the fabric using the same overlock stitch we did before while we were hemming. And while we sew the two edges, it will attach the straps to the top so that the o-rings will be secured. Just remove the pins at the very last second while you're sewing just to make sure that the straps don't move on you. Once all of the o-rings were secured, I just continued sewing that overlock stitch completely around the neckline. And boom, here's our final product. I hope you guys like this t-shirt transformation as much as I did. If you own a serger, it will probably be much easier overlocking than it is with the sewing machine, but we still got the job done. As always, leave me a comment below if you want to see more customized t-shirt transformations or if you just have any questions. Do me a flavor and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more sewing magic. Hit the bell so you get notified when I post. And last but not least, thank you so much for watching.